for the Welcome back. This is still new day here on TV3. And of course, like you know, your day starts with us, right? We'll turn our attentions to our social segment now. And this morning, we're taking another look at naming ceremonies. Now, uh, part two of our feature on naming ceremonies take us to one session here in Accra. Samokitete takes a look at how societal pressure is forcing young girls into early motherhood in the name of a befitting naming ceremony. AM Sunday, December 21, 2014. The Borti family are setting up for the naming ceremony of their first child. They live in Nungwa, a predominantly Ga community noted for lavish naming ceremonies called Bojemo in the Ga dialect. However, they are Christians, hence the ceremony will be done in accordance with their faith. Their little boy is going to be named two months after he entered the world. He was not named on the traditional eighth day because his mother was not well. Nevertheless, his big day is finally here. The leader of the church is Elder Randy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you. To predict the tradition of the Gans and their belief that a father goes out to fend for the family while the mother takes care of the baby, the baby is handed over by the father to the mother, after which prayers are said for the child and the family. After the ceremony, we spoke with the church elder and the baby's mother. The guns they do it at dawn, 5, 4, 35 p.m., then they are done. Even though the, the things that are said, the incantations and the recitations, it's not fetish, let me put it that way. But we feel that when we, 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 we agree with them on that score, then we are helping them or we are encouraging them, you know, to perpetuate their belief in idol worship. Yeah. So we do this as a clear departure from the traditional one. But that doesn't mean also that our identity as Ghana people is lost. We still maintain our identity as Ghana people because as I came here, during the naming ceremony, you, you saw the prayers I said. Some of the things that I said were actually some of the things that are said in the traditional naming ceremony. Yes. Reports suggest that girls have a high rate of teenage pregnancy because of the way they adore naming ceremonies. So, we visited the Osu home JHS A, B and C to find out what the children thought of teenage pregnancy and Bojemo. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Why not? Because it's too early. But where you are coming from, there are people there who have boyfriends, who get pregnant, and you see it. Yes. And what do you think about that? I think it's bad. What do you think makes your people pregnant? I think it's mainly on poverty. No, because I'm not at that age to, be, to get boyfriend. What age is that? Like, you have to get 18 years before you might have a boyfriend. You see that your friends do have boyfriends? Yes. Why do you think they have? They, because they want money. 
This was a clear indication that much awareness and education had gone on in the school. We also learned that for close to nine years, the school has not recorded any teenage pregnancy. But this achievement did not come easily. The problem we have been experiencing is mostly is from the appearance. We have irresponsible parents in this community. Mostly they don't even understand the education they themselves feel they have put their children through. So these children, we find out that their needs push them into such things for them to get uh, pregnant with the other uh, opposite sex. The school too come in to help, the PTA. Um, they try to give them some money for food, at least something for the day. And then other times to we do it individual, the teachers. We also come in to assist the children, especially for their food. Satisfied with the responses, we asked the headmaster, a native of La, why teenage pregnancy was predominant in the Ga communities. We also have the unscrupulous people within the society who lure these children. Because most of the parents are not able to cater for the needs of the children. The children will have to f find those needs elsewhere. And getting it from some people, the unscrupulous ones take advantage of these little ones and then they have their way. Poverty seemed to be an underlying factor, but the influence of the lavish Pojiemo cannot be ruled out. I will cite my area. When one girl gives birth, and the lavish outdooring that they, they do entices the others. Once you have done this, it's appealing. Why don't I also try it? And they go in for that. What they do forget is that it is a one-off thing. Whatever you get for the day, for the next 364 or so days, who will fend for you? For Akwele, a native of Nungwa, teenage pregnancy is a trend in her community, and she is a victim. She was pregnant at the age of 19, which she attributed to poverty and peer pressure. <laughs> Right, so that was our, our social segment taking an in-depth look at naming ceremonies um, with special attention to the Ga community. Um, I believe Kevin is now standing by in Studio A to um, take another look at what's trending in social media and uh, also our questions uh, of the day. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Sandra. Yes, we're going to look at um, naming ceremonies. What is the purpose of outdoorings um, and naming ceremonies? So let's just take the comments that our viewers have sent in. Um, Jonathan Arthur is saying some people still do it, but some don't see it necessary. Now we are living in a <laughs> Sunto world. Really, Jonathan, what does that mean? Okay, Sarah Arthur says, um, of course, it is relevant. Danny Brains is saying, it's relevant because it transforms the child from the spiritual world to the physical world, as the dead person is also transformed from the physical to the spiritual world through funeral rites. Okay, Freddy Nana from Pong saying, every new thing needs launching. I'm sure TV3 was launched before it started operating, so outdooring is very relevant. I like that comment. Okay, let's take a few more. Um... John Paul Tate is saying, I wonder why we're leaving our culture and, um, and are parading around the Western culture. We are losing all our cultural heritage. Okay, so John Paul, I'm guessing you are saying it is still very significant and we shouldn't forget about it. Hudu Alasan is saying, I think it's still relevant, but has, ha, it has lost its purpose due to changes in the way it is done. Okay, let's take a few more. 
Ray sacred tete tete is saying, I don't think it's still relevant because the main purpose of outdooring is to give the child an identity. But here lies the case should any misfortune befall those kids, they are not identified as those that were given an identity. I think it has become a fashion. Okay. So Ray thinks it has become fashion and lost its significance there. Marcel Duncan simply says, yes, it is. It is relevant. Okay. JB Humphrey, it's not relevant. Ask me why people we be asking you why, JB. Okay. Kendrick Gucci says, it is something that is a part of our culture. We just need to continue practicing it if only we, we want to be identified properly with regards to our true Ghanaian values and practices. So Kendrick there thinks it's still relevant and it's part of our Ghanaian culture. And if we don't want to lose it, we have to keep, keep practicing it. Bright Obing is saying, yeah. This is because it ushers the newly born baby into a new world and family. My last one on this um, question. Nana Kweku is saying the plan of the building behind is so funny. One man, okay, I don't think this has anything to do with naming ceremonies. But yeah, so that's it for our um, comments on naming ceremonies.